Students, in our last video session, we discussed the various preparations of aryllites from diazonium salts. And in today's video session, we are going to discuss about the physical properties of aryllites along with a very important question with respect to their chemical nature. Hey everybody, this is Ankur Goyal and you are in the right place if you really want to unlock your brain with a key to success in chemistry. Students, now let's move on to the physical properties of aryllites. We are going to discuss two very important physical properties with respect to aryllites that is their solubility and second their boiling and the melting points. Now let's start with the solubility of aryllites. Students, as we all know that just like the alkyl halides, even in aryllites, this CX bond will be polar. Yes, CX bond polar over because the halogens are more electronegative than this carbon atom. So this halogen will contain a partial negative charge over it, and this carbon will have a partial positive charge over it. So that means the CX bond in aryllites is polar. And we know water is also a polar molecule. Water also contains a partial negative over oxygen, and the partial positive ends are at hydrogen. So we expect any polar solute to be dissolved in another polar solvent. So it is expected that aryllites should be soluble in water. But students, yaar rakhega the practical facts suggest that the aryllites, although they have a polar CX bond, yet they are insoluble in water. And this thing can be justified in two ways. Firstly, students, yaar kariye the same case we also studied in alkylates. Alkylates mein bhi humne dekha tha ki alkylates mein RX bond polar tha, but in spite of their polar nature, they were also insoluble in water. And the main reason behind that was. कि the energy released during the alkyl halide water interaction was very less and that energy was not sufficient to break the water water interactions which were very strong hydrogen bonds same is the reason with aryl halides also although these aryl halides contain a polar cx bond yet their interaction with water will release very lesser amount of energy and that energy will not be sufficient to break the water water hydrogen bonds so on the same grounds even the aryl halides are insoluble in water Moreover, one more reason that accounts for their insolubility in water is that that although this CX bond is polar, but students, yaar kya kya? This aryllite is a very bulkier molecule, and in this bulkier molecule, me, just ye ek CX bond polar hai, but the remaining five carbon atoms of the ring are still non-polar. Yani ki ek bade se molecule me, ek bade se bulkier or heavier molecule me, ek chota sa fragment to polar hai, but ek bulkier fragment abhi bhi non-polar hai. And that non-polar character actually dominates over this polar character. जब किसी भी organic molecule में एक छोटा सा portion polar होता है, लेकिन एक major और bulkier portion non-polar होता है, तो वो non-polar portion उस polar portion के effect को भी hide कर लेता है. So in simple terms we can say कि aryllites are insoluble in water. Firstly, because the energy released during aryllite water interaction is very less and that is not sufficient to break the water-water interaction. And secondly, this bulkier non-polar aryl group. Completely mask the polar character of CX bond. ये bulkier aryl group इसका जो effect है, वो इस polar CX bond के effect के ऊपर dominate कर जाता है. So the overall conclusion is that कि both alkylates as well as aryllites are insoluble in water. Rather, they both are soluble in non-polar inorganic solvents. So this was about the solubility. Now let's move on to the second physical property, which is boiling point and melting points. Students, during the discussion of alkylates, I told you that both boiling point as well as the melting points are relative properties. जब भी हम किसी चीज के boiling point का high या low होना बताते हैं, तो we always specify that boiling point with respect to some other compound. तो यहाँ पे भी अगर हम aryllates के boiling point को discuss करेंगे, तो we will compare their boiling points with respect to their parent hydrocarbon. और याद रखिएगा, किसी भी aryllate का parent hydrocarbon benzene होता है. So actually we are supposed to compare the boiling point of any aryl halide with respect to benzene. So this is the parent hydrocarbon. आपको पता है कि इसी parent hydrocarbon में इस carbon पे से एक H हटा के ये X लगाया जाता है. तो हमें ये find out करना है कि ये aryl halides with respect to benzene high boiling होते हैं या low boiling होते हैं. तो students याद रखिएगा both boiling as well as melting points depends upon two main things. They not only depends upon the surface area, but they also depends upon the molecular mass. And you know कि जैसे ही हम ring में से यहाँ से H हटा के कोई भी halogen लगाते हैं, तो the molecule will not only become heavier because the halogen atoms are much more heavier than the hydrogen atom, but also due to the polar nature of the CX bond, एक aryl halide दूसरे aryl halide से dipole-dipole interactions भी form करने लगेगा. 
On the other hand, you know that benzene is a completely non-polar molecule. The various molecules of benzene are just held together by the weak van der Waals forces. But in this case, a aryl-aryl-lite, दूसरे aryl-aryl-lite से dipole-dipole interactions के through attract होगा. And since the dipole-dipole interactions are more stronger than the van der Waals forces, so obviously the boiling point of aryl-aryl-lite would be greater than the parent hydrocarbon benzene. तो एक तो ये कंपैरिजन स्टूडेंट्स याद रखिएगा कि किसी भी अराइलाइट का बॉइलिंग पॉइंट विद रेस्पेक्ट टू बेंजीन हमेशा हाई होता है नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू कंपेयर द वेरियस अराइलाइट्स फॉर एग्जांपल स्टूडेंट्स इफ वी कंपेयर दीस फोर अराइलाइट्स ए आर एफ ए आर सी एल ए आर बी आर एंड ए आर आई so I hope you know the meaning of AR. AR is just a representation for any aryl group. जैसे हम किसी भी alkyl group को capital R से represent करते हैं, similarly the aryl group is represented by AR. So this is fluorobenzene, chlorobenzene, bromobenzene और iodobenzene. तो students भी compare the boiling points of different halogen atoms placed over the ring. तो ये याद रखिएगा, the boiling point of these monohalobenzenes keeps on increasing with the increase in molar mass as well as the surface area of halogen. You all know that among the halogen family, as we move down the group from fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, then on moving down the group, the halogen atom not only increases in size, but its molar mass is also increased. So with the increase in the molar mass as well as the surface area, the boiling point will regularly be increased. So these are the trends of their boiling points, and similar would be the variation exhibited by their melting points also. For monohalobenzenes, the melting point and the boiling points both depends upon the surface area as well as the molecular mass. Now let's move on to the concept of dihalobenzene. Now if we compare the boiling and melting points of dihalobenzene students, dihalobenzene is the ring having two halogens substituted over it. For example, this is the representation of an ortho dihalobenzene. ये ऑर्थो डायहेलोबेंजीन है अगर हम इसी हेलोजन को यहां पे लगा दें तो दैट वुड बी अ मेटा डायहेलोबेंजीन और इस हेलोजन को यहां लगा दिया जाए तो दैट विल बी अ पैरा डायहेलोबेंजीन तो कंपेयरिंग दीस थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ डायहेलोबेंजीन बॉइलिंग पॉइंट्स में तो ये स्टूडेंट्स याद रखिएगा तीनों डायहेलोबेंजीन्स के बॉइलिंग पॉइंट्स नियरली सेम होते हैं बट व्हेन वी कम टू देयर मेल्टिंग पॉइंट तो मेल्टिंग पॉइंट नॉट ओनली डिपेंड्स अपॉन द मोलर मास बट इट आल्सो डिपेंड्स अपॉन द सिमेट्रिकल पैकिंग ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल विद इन द क्रिस्टल लेयर्स ये हमेशा याद रखिएगा कि the para dihalobenzenes you can see this is the structure of para dihalobenzene and this para dihalobenzene is a symmetrical molecule relative to the ortho isomer or the meta isomer kyunki para dihalobenzenes more symmetrical hote hain they can be more closely packed within the crystal lattice isliye in para dihalobenzenes ka melting point relative to their ortho and meta isomers hamesha high hota hai so i hope the concepts of melting and boiling points are clear to you now after the discussion of these physical properties we will discuss a very important question with respect to their chemical nature although the chemical properties will be covered in the next video session lekin chemical properties are related ek bahut important question students hame yahan pe discuss karna hai and that question is here displayed over the board ki although the cx bond in aryl halides is polar yet relative to alkyl halides the aryl halides are very less reactive towards the nucleophilic substitution reactions why सो so, मैं आपको बहुत सिंपल टर्म्स में क्वेश्चन का मीनिंग समझा दू स्टूडेंट्स वी ऑल नो कि एल्काइल हेलाइट्स आर पोलर मॉलिक्यूल्स एल्काइल हेलाइट में पार्शियल नेगेटिव एंड पार्शियल पॉजिटिव चार्ज सेपरेशन था एंड वी नो कि जब भी हम कोई न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूशन करवाते थे तो दिस स्ट्रॉगर न्यूक्लियोफाइल अपने नेगेटिव चार्ज के थ्रू एल्काइल में अटैक करके हेलोजन आइटम को सब्सिट्यूट करता था एंड अंडर दिस कैटेगरी वी डिस्कस न्यूली नाइन इंपॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन एल्काइल हेलाइट में हमने नाइन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूशन रिएक्शन डिस्कस करे अब नाउ वी एक्सपेक्ट द सिमिलर रिएक्शंस विद एराइल हेलाइट्स आल्सो बिकॉज़ इवन इन एराइल हेलाइट्स द सी एक्स बॉन्ड इज पोलर एराइल हेलाइट्स में भी स्टूडेंट्स ये सी एक्स बॉन्ड पोलर होता है हेलोजन पे पार्शियल नेगेटिव एंड कार्बन पे पार्शियल पॉजिटिव सो हियर आल्सो वी एक्सपेक्ट कि ये न्यूक्लियोफाइल अपने नेगेटिव चार्ज के थ्रू इस कार्बन पे अटैक करके हेलोजन को सब्स्टिट्यूट करेगा और वो नाइन न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्स्टिट्यूशन रिएक्शंस जो हमने एल्काइल हेलाइट्स में डिस्कस करे थे वी एक्सपेक्ट कि वो एराइल हेलाइट्स के ऊपर भी हो जाने चाहिए But the question states that the aryl halides are very less reactive towards the nucleophilic substitution reactions, and we have to justify that. Students, इसके वैसे तो बहुत सारे reasons हैं, but सारे reasons को हम collectively three points में justify कर सकते हैं. The first and the foremost reason is that you all know that these aryl halides exhibit the plus R effect due to the presence of lone pair over halogen atom. Halogen atom के पास lone pair होता है, and during resonance, this lone pair moves towards the ring. 
due to which a partial double bond character is developed between this CX bond. This CX bond may double bond character develop due to the plus R effect of halogens, and that's why when this nucleophile is carbon atom, attack karta hai, so it is very difficult for this nucleophile to substitute this double bond character. So the first reason is that unlike the alkylalides, where we have a single bond substitute, in aryllalides we have to substitute a partial double bond character and it requires much greater energy. So one reason is that less reactivity. Ka. The another reason students will remember that this carbon atom of the ring is sp2 hybridized. Related to this carbon atom of alkyl group, this is sp3 hybridized. And I already told you that greater the S character, more is the electronegativity of carbon atom. You all know that in SP3 hybridized carbon, mein, there is just a 25% S character. But in SP2 hybridized carbon atom, 33.33% S character, hone ki se, this carbon is much more electronegative related to this carbon. Now, electronegativity is not going Just imagine that students, if this carbon is not electronegative, hoga, so, this bond ke jo shared pair of electron will not only pull halogen apni taraf pull karega, but due to high electronegativity, this carbon will pull the electrons ko pull karne ki koshish karega. And if carbon will attract the shared pair of electrons ko apni taraf attract karne ki koshish karega, so the charge separation of this CX bond would be less than the charge separation of this CX bond. Ye yaad rakhega, related to an sp3 hybridized carbon atom, the sp2 hybridized carbon atoms are slightly more electronegative. And because of their greater electronegativity, this CX bond becomes less polar. Yaha to ye halogen atom apni taraf bhot effectively electrons pull kar pata hai to develop a greater negative charge. Lekin ye halogen atom apne upar bhot zada partial negative develop nahi kar paega because even this carbon is pulling the electron towards itself. So I hope aapko ye clear hai ki yaha pe kam charge separation hooga aur agar yaha pe kam partial positive hooga to nucleophile ke attack karne ki tendency bhi yaha pe slow ho jayega. So these are the two main reasons behind the less reactivity of aryllalides towards the nucleophilic substitution reaction. The first reason I told you is that the CX bond develop a partial double bond character due to the plus R effect exhibited by this halogen atom. Or second reason I told you that this CX bond in aryllalide becomes less polar, it has a lesser charge separation because not only this halogen is electronegative but even this carbon atom is electronegative due to greater S character. Iske a third reason also we can justify कि related to the size of this alkyl group, ये aryl group बहुत bulkier in size होता है. Moreover, we have already discussed this aryl group has a pi electron density above and below the plane of the ring. Electron cloud होता है इसके above and below the plane. ऊपर से ये bulkier भी होता है. तो कोई भी nucleophile जब इस ring की तरफ approach करता है, तो एक तो bulkier nature की वजह से ये आने वाला nucleophile ना सिर्फ एक hindrance face करता है, बल्कि ये आने वाला nucleophile इसके pi electron cloud से एक repulsion भी face करता है. So these are the main reasons students, jiski wajah se nucleophilic attack jitna easily alkylalides pe ho jate hain, utna easily aryllalides pe nahi hote. But my dear students, aapko ye nahi kaha ja raha ki aryllalides pe nucleophilic substitution reactions hote hi nahi hain. In fact, aapko ye kaha ja raha hai ki aryllalides pe nucleophilic substitution reaction mushkil se hote hain, easily nahi hote. So aryllalides pe nucleophilic substitution reactions kaise kare ja sakte hain? किस टाइप की कंडीशंस हमें यूज करनी पड़ती हैं क्या प्रॉब्लम्स हमें फेस करनी पड़ती हैं ऑल दोस कांसेप्ट्स विल बी डिस्कस्ड इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर व्हिच विल बी बेस्ड अपॉन द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अरायलाइड्स आई होप टुडेस वीडियो सेशन इज वेरी क्लियर टू यू स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू